All right. I just voted. Look at that. But here's what's crazy is I just spent a lot of time in here because they couldn't find my name in the, in the voting. And only to find out that I'm an absentee uh, ballot voter. And so I couldn't vote. Technically, I couldn't call the, the elections committee or whatever that oversees the uh, election process here in my district. And they had to verify that no ballot had been mailed in. And so then I had to do a whole personal, uh, you know, uh, voting manually and do an actually a sealed envelope. So my absentee ballot, the reason I was in there so long, they couldn't find my, my, uh, they couldn't find my name at first. At first, the lady spelled my name wrong, and I wasn't even in the system. <laughs> so then I'm like, what? Yeah, this was just a, a major ordeal. And so then, uh, she had to call the, the uh, voting she district. She spelled wrong, but you didn't realize it. <clears throat> right, but here's what's going on. See, I, I, I signed up for the uh, absentee ballot voting during the COVID thing. And I was even wondering about that, but we've been gone so much that in the mail, I never saw my absentee ballot come in the mail. I mean, who knows? Because other people collect my mail. And and so I never, I just thought, oh, well, I got to go down and vote like I used to. And sure enough, the lady put my name in wrong. So first she couldn't even find me. And I'm thinking, what is this all about? I mean, my names why are taken off. You, why didn't you so then, then she called the, uh, the voting you know, district office here, and she starts spelling my name, like, no, 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 that you're spelling my name wrong. She's like, oh. So then she found my name, she goes, oh, well, you're supposed to be an absentee, absentee voter. Did you mail it in? I'm like, no. So she had to call office back again. <laughs> so then, then to, she then gave me paperwork, where I had to literally put my personal name, you know, social security, date of birth. Then I had to manually enter everything and then I actually just gave her a sealed envelope back with my vote so that that's how I, my vote was submitted today and it won't be official till they verify that no absentee uh, mail-in ballot comes in with my name as well yeah there you go right oh my gosh that was just crazy I thought I got booted off the voting uh, the voting world but not really it's just an absentee ballot oversight where uh, even for me, but yeah, it's really weird. I was gonna call the voting place and uh, and ask them if I uh, where my my absentee ballot is. Oh, so there you go. I just voted, and you know what's incredible? Oh my gosh, there were there was the red and the blue standing in front of this location I just went to, and and it was dominant. People walked to the red side to get the piece of paper to make sure they know who they're voting for. It's only one individual for the record, just so everybody knows. Uh, as everybody does know if you're following elections. But anyways, so it was dominant, dominant red, dominant red. Every person that went in to that place, it was dominant red. You know, that's when I was there. It would be dominant blue, I guess, later on. But but the whole point is very, uh, very, seemed very much the energy was the red energy. All right, what are you doing now? So get this. This is crazy. This is beyond believable. So, Coons has a Raptor Bronco, and and I talked to my sales guy this morning. Said I'm going to be I'm going to be right up in that area today working. So I said, you know what? I'll come by and check out the Raptor. But the price, the ADM is insane. It's ridiculous. So I'm not paying that. So, come to find out, this is beyond believable. A person ordered a Raptor Bronco, and they walked away. They walked away the deal. They could have bought, and, and if you order a Raptor from a Ford dealership, you don't pay ADM, not the ones I deal with. So, you pay MSRP. So, it's an $80,000 truck. The guys, and whoever this was, this is, this is now. This is now for me, I know, I counted off last week, a bunch of vehicles going to Coons, Baltimore, Ford, where people special order these vehicles and they walk away. It's going on more than ever. And so this person, literally last week, this this 
uh, Cactus Gray Bronco R came in last Thursday, and the individual told the dealership, I'm not going to take it. If that person could have bought it, they could have turned around, sold it, made 10 grand conservative. Conservative. Easily. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I mean, what is going on, everybody? This is crazy. So now, Kuzon Ford, they want stupid, crazy money for this thing. But my sales guy claims that, yeah, if you want to order one, you're like two years away. I'm like, really? Are you sincere in that? I don't know. I got to find more information. So now, here's the downside. They got the damn thing in the showroom. So for me, I just want to go drive one. I just wanted to drive it, just to drive it, just to see. I mean, here's the thing. If I really want to drive that vehicle, the relationship I have that dealership, they'll get the vehicle out of the, the, the showroom. But at the same time, you know, for me, the danger is the numbers, the numbers are so far away for anything. And then here's the thing. Do I give up? You know, I'd have to give this up. So number one, I'd have to, there's no way I'm you know, buying another car. So realistically, I to make a deal go down, conservative, I mean, I'd have to give this up. Realistically, I should give up two cars. Realistically, I should give two vehicles. To make that make sense? I don't know. Who knows? But here's the thing. You're now on a venture with the Raptor Man. It's the Bronco Raptor voting day conversation. Yeah, after I had my pretty political morning conversation, I get it, but I'm sorry. For the politicians to do what they're doing in this country right now, you're, we're foolish just to stay silent. It's not acceptable. No more. Here's the kid. Hey, get that. The kid is with me. Why do you think that is? It's because the kid is off school because it's voting day. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. It's a guy behind me was an older gentleman. I know this guy, too. I've seen him. I know him. I couldn't think of his name. And he was standing there forever because he was the... Uh, I was the problem child this morning at the voting place when they, they looked me up and said, oh, you got to go see the help desk. Like, oh, here we go. The problem child continues. You can't tell that I'm not the problem child? Yeah, come on. Are you watching my channel? Yeah, so here it is. It's a beautiful day. 84 degrees. Look at this. 18.6 miles per gallon. There's my fuel economy. If I was to buy the Raptor Bronco, it's going to be 15. So it's going to be a three mile per gallon less vehicle. That's my understanding. I mean, this thing here just hauls butt. The Bronco is so much fun. I mean, this Bronco is just so much fun. I mean, for me, I mean, I I don't think this, I just don't think the deal's going to go down. I just, I can't see how to go down because they want too much money for the vehicle. It's too expensive. So uh, for me, when I tell you what, excuse me, I'll tell you what, is the economy slowing down? I don't know. My business here lately, it's definitely showing some signs of something's going on. What's really interesting is just here recently, it seems like something's going on. And I really haven't seen this before. So I don't know. Here we go. So here we go. So part of me is like, you know, the, 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 the catastrophe may be upon us more than I realize. I don't know. And we're definitely, you know, hearing about the fuel prices. Yeah, anybody's thinking the fuel price are any better they're not fuel price are gonna get worse the four or five dollar gas is coming back wow yep how long can people sustain the pain anyways follow me along and over to baltimore to coons baltimore ford and we check out the ford bronco raptor the braptor is it going to be a braptor day Yeah, so I was on the Raptor forum last night, the Raptor Bronco 6G forum. And so what some people were saying, one guy was saying that the noise is noisier than the Raptor. Can you hear the noise? Can you hear this noise in this vehicle? Yeah, if you the, had music playing, you wouldn't hear it. What? If you had music playing, you would not hear it. Yeah, so they're saying that the... Uh, the the Raptor, the Raptor is even noisier, really. But what they say is, it's just fast. It's just fast. The guys are all like, this thing just drives so fast. 
but it's bigger. So it's such a bigger interior. So if you sit here and look at me and my daughter, how close we are, that Bronco Raptor, it's, I would say it's at least six inches wider than this truck. Maybe a foot. Which, and some, some uh, back road adventure guys are like, yeah, but it's too big. If you really want to do some serious back trailing, that thing gets to be too big. That's the critical, you know, conversation. So, apparently, the expectation is they're going to build about two or 3,000 Raptors a year. That's kind of, that's kind of the production number. So, people are saying, if you buy a Raptor, even if you paid ADM, you wouldn't get hurt. You can't pay stupid, crazy ADM, but you paid like ten grand over. You long term, you're not gonna. You're, the value of that truck is not gonna go down. And just like this truck right here, for me, I should have a good ten grand from what I paid this truck. In my eyes, it should be a good ten grand just from the value of what I paid to what they're gonna get on the lot for it now. So. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, but the thing is for me, if they were selling it for, for retail, they're not. You know, I'd swap it for a swap. But the problem is, they want so much freaking ADM money that it doesn't make any whoa, sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Popcorn had to be true. What? He went, to an, elder, he went to an elder's meeting. Because of his eyes. So he had to be... So he had to be driven home by another elder because he was technically illegal if he got pulled over because he has restrictions of driving night. Drive at night. It's hard enough. So I asked, I asked everybody on the taxi this morning, the family. I said, "Did Dad say look out the whole time he's driving home with the person driving him home, kind of like somebody else over here? You know, watch out, look out." What do you say? He said he has a new German doctor. What do you say? That's he, a German doctor. He's not warm and fuzzy. <laughs> That's, That's what he said? said yeah. <laughs> so, my dad, nine years old, has a new, you know, family doctor. Good lord, look at all that. Dear. Yeah, that was a massacre tractor trailer mutilated that damn thing. Woo! I did not need to see that on my morning. Probably find out if that French toast stays down seeing that. Did you have any? No. Why? I wasn't hungry. Should I eat? No. I just thought you said you were going to have some and I thought you would tell me how you thought of it. This Bronco is just such a nice vehicle. I mean, it's so nice. And that's why for me, yeah, I mean, the Raptor, I think it's probably pretty badass. So I think I'd buy I like it. This. I mean, I just, I don't know. I just think that if the numbers made sense, I would, but I can't see how the numbers will make sense. I like this. Look at the day here. Beautiful sunny day. A balmy 53 degrees. And yes, the adventure begins. You're getting wood chipped. Yeah, I know. Don't need that. Good turnout there at the voting place. Still ain't good enough. When the speeds we're doing, 
doing good enough. All right, here we is at the Kins Ball Report. There's Diesel 589. 589. Can you just think that through? I mean, oh my gosh, if you're a trucker, there's 600 bucks, 1,000 bucks. Yeah, who's, who pays for that? You and me. All right. So the Bronco, who else is going to mean? I'll be amazed. There's no doubt in my mind that this uh, guy. All right, here we are. Hey, I drove that another day. Here's another. That doesn't look very, I don't know. I, that, that Bronco, to me, doesn't look good as my Bronco looks. Why do I say that? There's the GT500. Oh, it's still here. Oh, it does have rev matching. Uh-oh. Uh oh. It's sold. No, I thought it did too. <coughs> but it didn't. All right, here we are. Hey, anybody notice this place? Where do I come every day? So here's a GT500. This is a good deal. If anyone there's into this body style, I'm not. But I like it's $39,000 with like 20,000 miles on it. So uh, it's a cool car. And. My sales guy says that it does have rev matching. Yes, yeah, so would you give up your white car for this one? I'd have to see a picture of myself in it. <clears throat> okay, you'd have to drive it. Yeah, maybe you got to drive it. Yeah, if we put an exhaust on it, I would probably pretty like it. Or take out the resonator. Or take uh oh, out the this muffler. is getting dangerous. You come here for a for a look at one thing that turns into another I think thing. Sold though, maybe. Oh, uh, it's not sold. Here we go. Here it is. Uh oh. There he is. Look how big this thing is. This thing's massive. Oh my gosh. Look how this thing is just tall. This is crazy. Wow. I just got out of my freaking rat. Yeah. You won't be able to get up in it. Huh? You won't be able to get up in it. Did you call me? He looks worried. Pretty truck. I mean, why? Why'd you do this? Why did you order this? Because I wanted to. I mean, what are you trying to do to me? What now? No, it's right here. What do you got to do? Scan it. Scan it. Scan it. Oh my gosh, so yeah, yikes. Beyond yikes. It's only money. Yeah, it's yeah, it's only money if you have any money. I mean I just can't get over I just can't get over how tall this thing is. I mean, this thing is like massively tall. So I mean oh my gosh, just to get into this thing? I mean, there's no way. You're not like, to do this? Wow. I mean, you have to do this. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This this is... But, you know, it's interesting. The interior... The interior doesn't radiate, though, the, the bigness of you would think this would have. Wow. I mean, wow. The, uh, so, is this like a bigger Hello. interior? So, for us, I don't know anything about it. I just, yeah. All right. So, look at this here. It's really nice. Look at this hood. So, this hood has actually struts. So, you open it, it opens up, and the hood doesn't, you know, there's so much going on. If you need to have a cover on it, insulation there. Definitely quality, quality, quality. Wow. So really cool interior. But I tell you what, just getting in and out of this thing, this thing just mad. And this thing's so big. This thing is so big. Wow. Yeah, I can put my tool uh, toolbox in back here. Oops, sorry, baby. So to get into it, yeah, you gotta go like this. Really, I can't get in. <laughs> You're funny. 
The screen. Is the screen the same size? Yes. Wow. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go. Dad. Oh my gosh, so now look at my Bronco. Dad, it looks wimpy. Dad, if you buy it, can you please let me drive it with the top down? Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, so here we are. So we have, and we're going to try to do a deal. <laughs> and yeah, I got him to, uh, uh, I got him to knock some money off the, the ADM. Here's your F-250. That's not. That's just another one came no, in. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a new one. Oh my gosh. So yeah. So am I nuts? I'm nuts. If this deal gets pulled off, if this deal gets pulled off, oh my gosh. So but here's the thing. Okay. So I am now getting really the real deal information. And uh, oh, it's over. The used car market is done. Kaput. Anybody want nice uh, Broncos? They're sitting. The Broncos are sitting. They're not selling. So for me right now, they're they're this this car could have gotten me ten grand more than I paid for it six months ago, even four months ago. It's over. They're only going to pay me what I paid for it. So the heyday of see those people there, they can't get rid of it. It's a, it's a, it's a Bronco. It's cute. So I. Just, the used car market, yeah, all these guys that are talking about it, it's 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 over. So anybody thinks they're gonna go drive their car around for a month or two and turn it back in and make money? Nope. And I mean it's really disappointing because for me, I thought I had a good ten grand just over sticker on this truck to give it back to them. And I don't. So you that so I that got that got into a lot of negotiation. Video? Yeah, anyways, so so yeah, right now they're they're gonna go to see if the finance company likes me or not, which we're not this deal isn't done yet. And even for me, this this Bronco, I mean I've got mixed feelings. I mean it's really cool but it's big. It's so big you gotta you gotta literally, you know, like jump into it, crawl into it, and look dad. The uh look, if you were about if you were forty one Okay, so since I'm not, I don't qualify. Oh my gosh, so yeah, so, but here's the thing. They use, I'm just can't size enough, so I just told the guys at the dealership, it's like, okay, so if now everybody's gonna start getting beat up in the used car prices again, then it's now the next step is the new car values are gonna go down. So yeah, it's all proportional. So anybody out there, smartest thing you can do right now, definitely sit it out another a few months. If you're looking to buy a car, if you're looking to trade your car, Here we no. are. So you guys sit it out. No, 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 no. The car next week, too. Right. So it the point is. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, the hypocrite channel. It so doesn't here's, make sense. here's the point. If you're not trading a car in, you sit it out. If you're trading a car in, yeah, you better bail right now because the used car market is getting worse and worse and worse. But if you're not having trade a car in, then you set it out because you're going to get a better deal, better deal, better deal. But like this Raptor Bronco, you know, there's no way. They're not They're not going to get, it isn't like, I can, so the gentleman said there, wait till next year, and they're going to get 22 allocations. Mm -hmm. now, 12. 12 allocations. You've been getting your numbers wrong a lot lately, and it is concerning me. I'm not just saying. All right, so the daughter claims 12 allocations. He said 12. Okay, so anyways, but he said, yeah, but good luck us even getting it. But yeah, wait till next year. He said, bill, and he rolled his eyes. So this, is what, so this is what I thought. Okay, well, then I come back next year, and I order it, and then I wait a year to get it, and then what's the value of my Bronco next year? So let's just say my Bronco is worth 10 grand less next year. Because they just aren't going to stop making Broncos, they start discounting Broncos. Then okay, what I, what did I accomplish? Yeah, I paid ADM on this truck, but if I lost ten grand value in this truck next year, then technically I didn't pay ADM on that truck. So I mean, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I see him. Got a landscape. 
Oh uh, my goodness gravy the dang thing. But here's what I think is I'm gonna let's see if we get the deal done. If we get the deal like if we get the deal done, then do I take it for a test drive? Well yeah. Yeah, then we do it. But it's, but here's the interior. I don't know, is the interior bigger on that? Is it my imagination? We need to measure that. That's what I need to get back. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. We got the kids hungry. I want chicken nuggets. Yeah, we gotta get some to eat. So oh my gosh, this is this is beyond. Oh, and here's the other thing too. This was not a walk away deal from the person that what? ordered it. This was actually the uh, finance guy. The finance guy enrolled in a Visa Rewards program for the dealership, and he was. They, they were the number one Visa Rewards program. So Ford gave him that allocation for a Bronco. So my. My best buddy here at the uh, Coons Baltimore Ford Finance guy, he finagled getting that vehicle. Well, that's the only reason. It wasn't a long way deal. All right, we gotta eat. Wow, so my Bronco looks so wimpy now. Oh my gosh, is this crazy? If this deal goes down, put the video on right now. Dad said, Dad, I'm trying to talk to him. All right. And. This man, this is really. Wow. Then he starts laughing at his phone. When I'm trying to talk to you, we're at lunch. Yeah. And. Can't get my seatbelt on. I'm trying to talk to him about the Bronco and what's going on. Nothing. Watch out, Dad. Watch out. Yeah. It's quite irritating because this is our quality time. Oh my gosh, I'm just crazy. Yeah, so only way I can think this makes any sense to me is number one, I'm nuts. So I'll just admit that. Number two, I'm nuts. Number three, I'm nutty. But here's the thing for me, the value of this Bronco, I mean, I don't think it's going to be that radically different, but who knows? But the Braptor, the Braptor, so there. You sound like a bro. The, you sound like you're saying a broski. Yeah, so the Braptor, so you buy that, and Make sure you I mean, I just stop. can't see stop. that the, uh, stop. how do I survive when I drive by myself? I'll never figure out how I lived this long driving around in cars all my life without this kid next to me and how I survive. But so you guys see her. So here's, I'm right. getting a lot of vehicles in. It's fluffy and yeah, warm. Yeah, so it's, it's, uh. It's definitely changing. So here's the thing. So my Mach E is still here. So oh, the F one fifty Lightnings. Now, nope. If you have F one fifty Lightning, you want to get rid of it. You ain't gonna get paid to get rid of it. Oh. So anybody out there right now paying premium for F, anybody right now that's now paying premium for cars, then yeah, you don't know what's going on because it's over. You're I'm just sharing car. with you the that you know that's the problem right now they have a bunch of broncos that sitting in the lot so their attitude right now is you know we're not excited about your bronco because we already got a bunch of broncos what about the gt500 did you want to drive that i don't like the colors oh there it is there's one there they just took in i don't like the colors like i don't like that blue and i don't like the stripe oh i'd be all over it i hate that blue though it's just all right, let's go in. Let's see if the finance, talk about the finance field. So here's the deal. Yeah, I can sit here all day long and say I'm gonna buy a Bronco. Well, finance guy makes that final decision. Me. And then do I like the numbers? Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Here I am again, I mean, this was not even planned. My, my sales guy texted me yesterday, sent me a video of this car, and that's the only reason I'm here. Otherwise I wouldn't even be here. Oh my gosh, it just has an end. Leave, right? Leave, leave. Why do they have to do this? Why why can't Ford just left that as it is? You don't need a Bronco Raptor, right? Oh jeez. Is it still in here? Did they move it out? No, it's still here. So that means that we're still talking. So let's go look at it now. Did you ever find out the tow rating? Hey, does this have dual exhaust? Does this have... Yeah, but does this have like the... the, the, the 
Oh, so it does have a neat exhaust on it. Look. See that? See here? Wow. So, it should have a burp to it. Now we gotta do, we gotta measure the inside of this. Okay, so now, open the door. And does this seem like it's any wider? Does this interior look exactly the same to you? I mean, what they're, what they're saying is, it's the exact same cap. Yeah, I know, but your other guy challenged you on the axles. It is wrong. It is allowed to be wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I'd probably buy the electronic steps. <laughs> yeah, this thing sits up so high. Go, go stay next to the truck as you smell your hands. They break. So look. Okay, so there's there you are. So look, look at your height. No, no, don't get in it. I want you to just stand next to it to show your height compared to that vehicle. I mean, so it's just, oh my gosh. Let's get a picture of you. Hold on. All right, so look here. Isn't that pretty cool? There's little Bronco lights in it. There's the kid. And... What are we gonna do, right? Look at the blue interior. So what's the blue interior about? Anybody know what that's all about? Oh, I gotta you I gotta get my freaking side things. Yeah, I take ooh, look at that, that's pretty cool. See the dash. So sound deadening roof, like that. Already has the uh, the rubber mats. See, this is a claw, this is actually a leather. Then a suede, suede, a suede type of interior. It's incredible how they wouldn't have a light right here. <coughs> you think it through, they should have a light right there. Because at nighttime, you get in this truck, it's dark. Hey, somebody's sleepy. Yeah, 37s. Yeah, it's a big tire. I'm not sure and look at it, look at it, just look at it, just the back rear tire spare. I mean, just opening this thing up, but it, it's pretty good considering how big it is. You know what I mean? That's pretty impressive. So yeah, so it's the exact same. It's the exact same cap, right? Yeah, yeah. No doubt. No, that, that, that's not what I was talking. I was talking about your axle. Right. Yeah. So underneath here, if you look here. Look. Baja, beyond Baja. Wow, I mean, this thing's really designed just to go out and just incredible. Wow, this is just crazy. Look up underneath here. Yeah, I get a lot of pan. A lot of pan. For sure. Coolers. All right, so look at that. It has turn signal lights. The camera has little venting grills. You didn't notice it. Yeah, I did. I didn't talk about it. The hoods had a little different design. It's got the graphics. The bigger fenders, bigger tires and wheels. The the incredible suspension shocks. Different lights. So look at the lights at the back. You seen this? Okay. What else is different? So it's like it has rock crawlers built into the like the side steps. So side steps bolt onto the rock crawlers. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. <laughs> wow. 
Is that your mom? Who can imagine? What, well, babe? Is that your mom? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure is. How do you know? Because of the wheel package. Oh. All right, we're just hanging out here. The kid is intrigued by this. Let's let her get in it. Let's start it up. Let's just see uh, what she thinks. You know, I mean, come on. You good? Got plenty of room. I mean, this car is in great shape. I'll be pushing the clutch, so I'll be curious. I'll be curious to know uh, how that clutch feels. That's a real clutch. All right, so put in neutral. Make sure it's in neutral. Okay, start her up. Push the clutch. Wow. wow. Actually, that's a pretty good, uh, let me close the door and pick the window down. Actually, has a pretty good uh, exhaust note. Wow. Can she test drive it? Yeah. You want to test drive it? I want you to drive it. Well, no, you would drive it. Well, you can drive around the parking lot. No, I want to She's saying she wants me to drive. That's fine. I can drive it. Get a tag. I mean, how... I don't... I don't know this. Yeah, no, we'll drive around the road and yeah. Got nothing else to do right now. Right? It Leave it on. Leave it on. Yeah. Got a parking brake. All right, here's the kid driving the GT500. Right, here she comes. Wow. It's a good looking car. That's a really good that's a good looking car. Wow. That's a fancy car. Wow. That's a, you know, it's incredible. How many of these are driving around town? Not many. Right. That's a beautiful car. You'll have to see the video. Drive up and around there. What now? Oh, yeah. So drive up and around and back around. Do a, you do a, a little drive around. Wow, that's a good looking car. Wow. I like this. Man, that's a beautiful car. That thing, you know, out here, out here looks really good. I like it. So what you gotta do here would think, you know, it's gonna well, let's put it this way. It's not gonna be getting worse than our current GT5. I just well, didn't know like the difference. Sorry. All right. Don't worry 
Everybody just, just right well, just make sure you get it going. That's all that matters. There you go. That was a good shift there. Very good. Perfect. Let the car do the work. Do I go straight? straight yep, you go straight. Down the slope for a mm -hmm. dead stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. This 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 has a uh, this has a she super charger. Yes, but what generation motor is this? Uh, That's a coyote. It's like what they call it. The so look who bought it. Like Gary. Terminator. Look at this. Gary Marster uh, built that motor. Uh, Gary and Jeff Hamilton and Gary Marstall. Jeff Hamilton. Wow, that's scary. Those are old guys there. Wow. Yep. It's those things. So these are hand built. Oh. You know that, right? Well, I don't know. Yes. You know, I was never a four guy back in the hand, day. Hand built. Hand built. Right, right. They signed off wow. two, two teams. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, I just didn't know about this time error. So let's let's look at the trunk. Can you even open the trunk? No, oh, it's a key. Yeah, yeah. I was a Mopar Chevy guy. Yeah. I was a Chevy guy. Yeah, no I was idea a, these things. Nah, I was never a Mustang. Hey, open the, uh, how do you, let's see here. So you gotta, you, to yeah. open the key, you open the trunk, you gotta do this. <laughs> the old days. Or no. Or, or, or you got the key on the thing. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Look how small the trunk is. What? Fingers. What? Okay, good. Wow. Look at a little technology. What's Look at that little trunk. Look at this in the hood, the rear hood. What? This rear deck is oh. totally smaller oh, yeah. than yours. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's a really cool car. I mean, this is definitely a rare car. On the back. This is such a rare, this is a rare car. Wow. 285s on the back. Yeah, <laughs> imagine if you did a look little at the, bit of... Look at this here. Look at that angle. 285s on the back. I think the front has... Oh, this has turned a long day, but now we're just walking around, walking around, Dad, pause the video. and uh, look at all Mustangs. So, for me, if I was to give up a Mustang, can you pause the video really quick? Oh, here we go. Walk down the video. Here's here's the thing. A lot of inventory. You can definitely tell the times of change are here. Look at this. Look at all the freaking explorers. So, and there's so many. And this was not being talked about. There's so many cars sitting at the factories that don't have a complete electrical chip system. And that's even bigger. So, if all those start showing up, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's huge. Here's a nice, it's probably the, uh, is that the King Ranch? I don't think so. Yeah, but they're, but they're selling cars. I mean, we're here today, and believe it or not, the problem we're having right now is the finance guys has all these deals to do, and so it's actually, you know, it's actually the same old story. Yeah, they're hurting. They're not. They're de the dealership's not hurting. Is the car market changing? It is. Are people here buying cars? They are. They added this so, two point three liter, yeah. four cylinder. So, like it's brand new. Yeah, it is. Look at the t look at the sticker. It, oh, it is. It is. What year is it? I don't know, but it's new. It just in this hood, they did a similar style in 2015. Yeah, those headlights look so ugly. How would you? Even... The kids now calling me. I would. I'd want a expedition. Yes. Yeah, so anyways, <clears throat> look at lots of explorers. But hey, once again. The, right now, it's in late in the day. It's in, we got here today at like noon. And, to be <clears throat> yeah, and look, we're still here because the finance deal, it's not that easy. See, for me, it's not easy. You know, the, the, the guy's like, this guy's insane. So the finance guy, he's tied up doing our deals. So he can't focus on me. Oh, my goodness. It'll be interesting. I mean, we could be driving home and what we left. That's for sure. So, here we are. Here's a Maverick. So, see here? Here's probably the hybrid Maverick. Would be my guess. This is the sought-after vehicle. And you know, what's this all about, right? 
I don't know. It's on the other side. Let's go look. Hybrid.